Hey guys, it's Melvin17 and today I'm bringing you another episode of What Do They Need in January. Now I'm sorry it's been a couple of days since I've done the videos but I'll try and stack them, I'll try and do three or four a day because I'm getting my new PC later today so content should be coming thick and fast and yeah it'll be hopefully back to what it used to be. But anyway, with Chelsea, they're the next team we are doing and yeah they got a very nice win in their last game and one player in particular seemed to do pretty well in that game and that was Fabregas but still I think one of the things he needs to go like <laughs> to play the way he did under Mourinho and he was obviously the player regardless of whether he denies it he was the one that said he'd rather lose than win under Mourinho and how long is it going to be before he turns against another manager and I just don't think that's right for a player to do that you're on a salary you're supposed to do your job no matter what and he didn't so I think regardless of how good he decides to do um, or play, he needs to go and he's getting on a bit anyway also there's the problem, well the dilemma with Hazard because you know do do you sell him while you can or do you wait till summer, do you try and like recapture his best form, do you try and replace him with someone better what's the issue with that, you've also got aging uh, defenders in Terry and Ivanovic so they'll need a replacement but in January realistically I think what Chelsea really need are, is a centre back Obviously links with John Stones again, but Everton are not going to sell in summer. Uh, sorry, they didn't sell in summer, so they're not going to sell now. Uh, who else could they get? Maybe uh, Dragovic, the centre-back that we were linked to last year in January. Um, he might be more attainable. Of course, it's a risk. He isn't proven in the Premier League, but it, it certainly would help Chelsea's defence because at the minute, Kurt Zuma's fantastic, but Cahill's a bit hit and miss and Terry's ageing a little bit. A CDM to partner... Uh, <laughs> It's crazy that I would say Mikel, because he's actually been doing really well. Matic is tailored off this season, but they do need another holding CDM because they do like to play the 4-2-3-1, and that requires two DMs. And when Fabregas is in there, uh, you know, he can't play well, but sometimes he's a liability and, you know, other players are required to pick up his uh, mess. And also, most definitely, a striker. Chelsea need a striker. Diego Costa, he seems to be get, regaining some form, but... Obviously, there was rumours of a swap deal with Atletico Madrid for Jackson Martinez. I don't think that will happen, but it could be a good thing. But it's more of the point of backup. Falcao is always injured. He's no good anyway, and he never gets in the team regardless. Um, you've also got Luoc Remy, who, for whatever reason, is either injured or just gets overlooked all the time, which is, I think is a little unfair, but because of that, he's surely wanna, going to want to go and get first-team football because he's quite capable of first-team football in the Premier League for another club. Um, also, Bamford's return, so maybe you know put him into the team. Also, with the CDM, why not like give Loftus-Cheek a few more games? He's young, and he, he's been pretty good, so they might not need necessarily new signings, but just try what they've already got because they do have a lot of youngsters and that's a problem with Chelsea you know they loan so many players and everything and they never tend to blood their youth, youth as they should because they have some quality youth in that team maybe give Bertrand Traore a chance on the wing or up top I mean obviously it's a little bit of a risk and maybe you still need a striker just you know in case Costa does get injured and obviously Bamford's a little bit unproven but at least give him a, a breakthrough I think he deserves that to be honest so uh, yeah that's my opinions with Chelsea do you agree do you not uh, I'll do the next episode might be today if not it'll be tomorrow when I've set my new PC up and everything so this might be the last video on this PC which is brilliant for me because uh, yeah it, it's almost dead but anyway hopefully you have enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already like the video and yeah peace